Shalom. First and foremost, before I begin, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah Ba'ashim, Rakak and Das, the Mountains to the Apostles and Elders, a great millstone. Much respect to you, brothers out there, as preaching his word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Tabernacle of David, Hope Elect, and the Speckled Bird. I want to say Shalom. So I just want to get into a little quick show going into, um, you know, believing and trusting in. Smooth, buttery words will get you killed. You know, just plain and simple. It's going to get you killed out here. You know, the Lord has sent out his prophets. Week in and week out and doing these sit downs to warn you. But Jake ain't taking heed to it. All right, so like you. Jake ain't taking heed to it. All right. So it is what it is, man. It is what it is. So I see why in these last days. You know, the men of the Lord are going to be laughing at you two thirds, man. <laughs> and the scriptures, scriptures make it clear because Jake is out here. He's rebellious. He's hard headed. He's sottish. And he don't want to take heed to wisdom, knowledge and understanding. You know, the words that, that we speak in is not sound doctrine into their ears. So they got to learn the hard way. So as you see right here on the screen, man, you know, just just look how. Look how the most High just messed up Jake out here, man. You sending out your kids to the father, fire Molek. And Jake, Jake is just, and then you got the heathens down here, which we, uh, you know, I believe is heathens, you know. But but anyways, you know, a lot of people out here going to get jacked up. <laughs> they going to get jacked up, man. And I don't feel sorry, sorry for them. You shouldn't feel sorry for them because it is what it is, man. It's just a Heavenly Father's movie. And whoever wants to take heed to this sound doctrine, understanding that they're Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, are Israelites and our, and our uh, speckled bro brethren as well are Israelites. You know, hey, hey, come into the fold, man. But everybody else, which is a huge number, because <laughs> only a drop, it's going to seem like only a drop out of a whole wave is going to get saved out of here, man. Anyways, um, turn this right here, as you see right here, you know, Jake just, <laughs> Jake seems to forget about history, man. These damn devils have been your enemies since the beginning, since the womb. But Jake, <laughs> hey, Jake, Jake has a short attention span and they forget about everything. It's like uh, with Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, man. You know, Kamala Harris been... Locking up our people left and right, but you still voted for him, man. Joe Biden, he, he's a racist too. He's against the children of Israel as well. But you 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 want Caesar to be your king. And I see why these Jakes got to get jacked up, man. As you see right here, it says U.S. government offers free health care to Southern rural blacks. All right, so we know we're not black. You know, that's just a byword. That these heathens put upon us, you know, our skin is a skin is brown, different shades of brown. All right, we Israelites. I hate saying black. Intentionally injects them with syphilis. You see, so you still want a coronavirus vaccine, uh, uh, Crown Royal vaccine? You you still want that? And of course, you Jakes are gonna take it. And I won't feel sorry for you because these devils have been, you know, doing trial runs, doing tests on Jake over and over again. So they know how to make the body tick. All right. They they know what to put into the Israelites body. What's good for the Israelites and what's good and what's not good. So they know, you know, so they trying to exterminate you, Jake. <laughs> and, um. What was it over here? I believe they had uh, fifteen thousand dollars or so, one thousand five hundred dollars. Uh, uh, if you wanted to uh, go into the trials, <laughs> was that one thousand five hundred dollars worth it, man? <laughs> Hell no! Hell no, man! Let's go ahead and get some scriptures, man. All right. Well, since I was there, 
Give me one second. I'm going to go right back to that. This is Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe, woe meaning destruction to them that go down to Egypt. All right, Babylon the Great, which is America, for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many. And in horsemen because they are very strong, but, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel. Yahweh Bashim al they not looking to the Lord, man. They're not hearing the prophets out there, man. It's going through one ear and not the other. So to hell with these people, man. Neither seek the Lord Yahweh Bashim al So they don't seek him. You know, they they looking at Babylon the Great. They they seeing all the, you know, oh man, you know, uh, uh I got, I want to go play my play, PlayStation 5, man. I want to go play my Xbox Series X, man. You know, it's you see all this great stuff we got down here, man. You know, uh, hey, I want to I want to go out to the store again and, and won't have to wear a mask. You see, <laughs> you see how simple our people is, man. Hey, this place is about to be destroyed. This place is about to be burning down, man. People are about to go crazy out here in this mug. And I see why when they take them vaccines, man. You know, it, 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 <laughs> You know, when brother's talking about the God gene, you, Jake is going to be out here bugging, man. So since you trust in the government, because I saw a post, um, you know, our people question the Lord, but they don't question their government, you know. So that's why these people are going to be destroyed. So woe unto them that trust in America, but not trust in the Lord. All right, woe, destruction unto these people, man. So anyways, I'm going to get some more scriptures that I had. Um, I want to get, let me go to, uh, shoot, no matter of fact, let me go to Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression making the wise man mad and a gift destroy the heart. You see? Hey, hey, the hopeful elect can see the oppression. It makes us mad, you know? Even some of our people out there that don't know the truth. You know, it makes them mad. But check this. And a gift destroyed the heart. So even though a lot of our people can see the oppression, you know, all they got to do is give you this money or give you who who you want president, who you want to be president. And you you forget about all your oppression, all, everything that you've been going through, everything that these devils have done to you for a moment, man. You know, you, you just calm down for for a moment, man. But us in this truth, hey, we constantly vex. Day in, week in, and week out, man. We we vex. We tired of this place, man. That's what pushes us to keep on going harder and harder in this truth, man. Because we trying to see the downfall of this wicked ass kingdom, man. But Jake, Jake's too worried about the carnal things that's gonna pass away, man. Anyways, let's go to um Let's go to Psalms 55. That's Isaiah Salaki. This is Psalms uh, 55 and 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. You see? They, uh, our people hear the words of the so-called white man who's Esau Edom. They hear, oh man, this, this is, this is going to be great, man. These, you take this uh, Maxine and, and eventually, we'll go back to normal. But the hopeful elect, hey, we can see it, man. We can see right through your bull crap. You know, smooth, buttery words. And that sound doctrine <laughs> into the ears of, of the elect, man, is not. We're not taking heed to that. Because our people have taken heed to smooth, buttery words in the past. And, and look where it got you, man. You know. Now you got to pay for everything, man. Hey, you pretty much got to pay for breathing in this wicked kingdom, man. You know, water ain't free, lights ain't free. You know, it's, it's, it's a, we're under the rule of a damn devil, man. But y'all going to believe every word that he said, man. Go go ahead, take these vaccines, and we're going to go back to normal. And y'all eating it up. Two-thirds is eating it up. And the heathens will to hell with them, man. <laughs>
you know, if they want to take that Maxine, hey, go, hey, go ahead, man. <laughs> but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords, okay? War is in his heart. So let me go back to here. So as you see right here, you know, oh man, this is this is free health care. All right. This, this is to take care of you people, man. So you won't have to worry about any diseases. And you find out you get you got syphilis now or whatever type of disease. That's what's gonna happen to you, Jake's out there, man. That's why y'all out here looking crazy, man. That's why the men of the Lord are gonna be out here laughing at you, man. Because you trust in Egypt and you don't trust in, in, in the Lord, man. So, once again, to hell with you Jakes out there, man. To hell with y'all. Matter of fact, let's go to um, Sarek. 12 and 10. Sarek 12 and 10. Never trust thy enemy, for like as Ryan rusted, so is his wickedness. Never trust your enemy. All right? So with these Jakes over here trusting their enemies, it's why you looking all jacked up, man. It's why you looking all dumb as hell for trusting in your enemy, man. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take heed and beware of him. Thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that he that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. This man, hey, he, he's crooked, man. The Lord made it. Made these people to be crooked, wicked, evil, man. All right. Set him not by thee, least when he have overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. You see, this man is always plotting to get ahead of the Israelites, man. To get ahead of you. To be above you. To poison you. To kill you, man. But y'all, y'all gonna believe in this devil, man. Least he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words and be prick therewith. You see? But our people ain't gonna take heed to this, man. So they're gonna have to learn the hard way. And check this. I love this right here. Who will pity a chummer that is bitten with a serpent? Or any such as come nigh wild beasts? Who's gonna pity you, man? Who's gonna pity you? Once again, I'm not going to pity these people. I'm not going to pity any any Israelite that, that's out there that want to take this Maxine, man, to save your life. You know, you try to save your life in this in this kingdom, you're going to lose it. You ain't got much time in this wicked-ass kingdom, man. All right? <laughs> so, I'm, so I'm supposed to trust in this devil. No. You know, just like these dudes out there that play with snakes, that play with lions, tigers. You know, when they end up getting bit or arm being torn off, you can't feel sorry for them, man. You shouldn't have been playing with that wild beast. You know, it's already in his nature to be wild, to bite you, to kill you, to harm you. So it's no difference with Esau or Edom, you know. So our people trust in him, man. To hell out of here, man. Let's go to uh, back to Psalms. Let's go to uh, back to Psalms 55. This is Psalms 55 and 21. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, Yahweh Hashim outside, and he shall sustain thee. You see, the Lord is going to sustain us in these last days. Yeah, because we're not, we not going to stand up for this wickedness, man. We're not going to, we're not going to try to save our lives in this wicked ass kingdom, man. So a lot of us, hey, we, we're going to have to quit our jobs. And wholeheartedly trust in the Lord. But the Lord is not a man that he should lie. So he's going to take care of us, man. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. So at the end of the day, no matter what happens, man, we got the we got the last laugh. Hey, this is the last, man. This is the last wicked ass kingdom that's going to rule over us. So, hey, buckle up. <laughs> buckle your seatbelts. Get ready for the ride. And wholeheartedly trust in the Lord. Because he's about to show us his power in these last days, man. But thou, O power, shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. You see? 
That's what the Lord is about to do to these people. That's what you see in the devil coming down with great wrath, knowing that he has but a short time to rule this earth. All right. Because the Lord is about to bring this man down. So he's coming after you Israelites, man. He's trying to poison you, kill you. <laughs> he's trying to disguise it, man, with his smooth, buttery words. But the elect ain't hearing that, man. The elect is not hearing smooth, buttery words. You know? Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days. You see? But I will trust in thee. So this man has but a short time to rule this to rule this earth. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, right? And he ain't got too long until his rulership, until he's pushed out of his rulership seat, you know? Because we got next, man. Matter of fact, let me go to uh, Job twenty and five. Right, this is Job 25. The triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. All right. But for a moment. All right. So compared to the kingdom of heaven, hey, this is <laughs> this is like literally one day to the kingdom of heaven, maybe an hour to the kingdom of heaven that this man has ruled. You know, and, and when we're in the kingdom, it's going to be forever and forever. All right, so this man about to be put down. This man is about to be put down. We can't wait for that. Um, I believe there was another scripture I want to get. Give me one second. I think I want to. Uh, let me see if I want this. It's Proverbs 20, 21 and 10. The soul of the wicked desireth evil. You see, this man is wicked. This man is evil. All right, look, look at that, man. You see this? You see this? Just injecting our people with poison. And you want to trust in this man. I'm going to read that again. Proverbs 21 and 10. The soul of the wicked desireth evil. His neighbor findeth no favor in his eyes. Okay? And that's why all these jakes out here are about to get jacked up. Because this, this truth is not sound doctrine into their ears. So they got to get jacked up, man. Right? They got to get jacked up. So, matter of fact, I'm going to get this one last scripture. And I may close out. Let me go to, uh, let me see, Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election have attained it, and the rest were blinded. So only the elect have the eyes to see and to understand that the kingdom of heaven is around the corner, right? And, and to quit their jobs and to pretty much sacrifice everything that they have on the side of the earth for the kingdom's sake. Everybody else is going to try to keep their lives, right? <laughs> and it's only going to be but for a moment. According as his written power have given them the spirit of slumber. <laughs> you see? That's why Jake out there looking dumb as hell. Looking like Popeye the sailor, man. Eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day. All right? And that's how the Lord set it up. You know, King David, as it go into, pray for their downfall. We're praying for their downfall for them not to, you know, <laughs> you know, because they can't get it, man. It's, it's in the Lord's movie for them not to get it. And the Lord honored King David's prayer. And hey, you know, the same people that chose Caesar over Yahweh Shai, the same people back here today that's going to get that Maxine that uh, voted for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, man. So that's why they're going to be destroyed. It's just in the Lord's movie that they're going to be destroyed, man. So no crying, no tears, no praying for these people. Unless it's praying curses on him. <laughs> and David said, let the table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and recompense unto them. You see, this truth is a stumbling block unto them. They can't take heed to it. You know, this truth was for, for their healing. You know, but the Lord doesn't want them to be healed. <laughs> and the Lord wants, wants Jake 
you know, two thirds of Jake to be out here looking like this, man. <laughs> oh, man. So count yourself blessed right now that you got this truth. Pray to the Lord that you endure to the end, you know, because you could have been out there looking like Papa out of Salem, man, and, and believe in every word that Esau Edom tells you. Let the eyes be darkened that they may not see. Bow down their back all, all way. All right. So these people about to be destroyed, you know, because they want to believe in smooth, buttery words. You know, let this be an example to those who want to believe in smooth, buttery words. They want to take heed to it, right? They, 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 they just going to get jacked up. <laughs> so with that, Lord willing, this was edifying until next time. Shalom.